Plaza Acoustic Crossroads just brought to you by the Team One Automotive Group, Riverview Regional Medical Center, and Family Savings Credit Union. Now, here's Kelly Johnson. Welcome to another episode of Kelly's Acoustic Crossroads. I'm your host, Kelly Johnson. We've got some great music lined up for you today. Our guest is the awesomely talented A.D. Howard. We're going to have some music from him. Make sure you check out our website, kacrossroads.com, and Facebook at Kelly's Acoustic Crossroads. Right now, I'm going to do a song for Carl Brady for all his, his hard work on the show. It's called Somebody in Alabama Loves You. Welcome back to Kelly's Acoustic Crossroads. My guest today is A.D. Howard of Glencoe, Alabama. He's going to be sharing some of his original music with us. And right now we're going to feature A.D.'s song, 1953. It was the summer of 1953 Well, Father Time and the Sandman Played a dirty trick on me I dreamt I woke up after 50 years of sleep And what happened next I'll never forget Man, it seemed so real to me I started off like a normal dream Until my truck needed gasoline on my way to work while driving down Main Street And when I asked the man why gas costs 403 He just shook his head and then he said Welcome to the 21st century And I said, whatever happened to five cent colas? 
cops and robbers and toy soldiers A picket fence in front of every house I thought the cards could fly by now What the heck is the internet and A flat screen color TV set, man You just don't sound right to me Come on, man, seriously How long was I asleep? Sure ain't 1953 Yeah, yeah This ain't 1953 Whoa, whoa, whoa Last I remember we were fresh off World War II And life was blooming in the old red, white, and blue But life can't bloom without someone to till the land Believe it or not, that's the part where folks like us came in. And from the steel mills of Pittsburgh and Birmingham, to the automakers up in Detroit, Michigan, from Saratoga to the shores of Normandy, ain't a fun act quick that we forget that freedom don't come cheap. And I said, Whatever happened to we salute ya and glory, glory, hallelujah. One nation under God. Don't you think it's a little lot that a tobacco farmer in Carolina is wearing blue jeans made in China? It just don't sound right to me. Come on, man, seriously. How long was I asleep? Sure ain't 1953 Yeah, yeah If this ain't 1953 Whoa, whoa, whoa Whatever happened to the dinner table And helping somebody when you're able The golden rule ain't rocket science Like your new handheld devices I think it's time we face it it's time to get back to basics There's nothing wrong with technology But come on man, seriously Yeah, how long was I asleep? Cause it sure ain't 1953 Yeah, yeah, if this ain't 1953 And that was A.D. Howard's song, 1953. As A.D.'s making his way to the interview portion of our show, we're going to thank our sponsors right quick and remind you to check out our Facebook page, Kelly's Acoustic Crossroads, as well as our website, K.A. Crossroads, where you can find information on all of our guests, how to become a guest, and also information on how to become a sponsor of the show. Alan, it's so great to have you today. Oh, it's, AD, I keep wanting to call you Oh, Alan it's okay. Here. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. That's great. You went to Glencoe, Alabama, where my kids go, so I right. know you as Alan Dale, but as you're, you know, progressing in your music, you want to be called AD Howard. Is that AD. A little bit more like marketable, a little bit shorter. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. And, unless you're in trouble, then it's Alan Dale. Right. And then... Right. You, know, you hear that coming from yeah. mom in the kitchen. I hear yeah. that. Then you know it's bad news. <laughs> exactly. But you're 20 years old, and you've been doing music how long? Well, I just took my first piano lesson when I was four or five years old, mm -hmm. so I've been doing that part of it for a long time. I uh, started songwriting when I was about 16, mm -hmm. and since then I picked up the guitar and harmonica, which I'll be playing a lot of today. And you've been playing guitar eight months, is that correct? Yes, I'm that, that's correct. I'm completely blown away. I mean, that's just <laughs> awesome. And you said the piano helped you to, right, to definitely. learn to, to kind of trans transpose and, and go to different instruments from there? Right, learning the theory of the piano and mm -hmm. then uh, learning how to read chord charts was really helpful. So I already, right. you know, I was already one step ahead of the game. And I heard from a little birdie, you didn't necessarily like your piano lessons starting off, is that correct? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> I loved my piano teacher, but mm -hmm. I did not love piano uh, lessons. And that was purely because of I like to play by ear. So. Yeah, right. But she was able to let you nurture those skills as well as learning the traditional way to play by music and things like right. that. Right, so she did. She that's did. Great. And I'm very thankful for it. So her kids, like don't that. give up on your piano lessons <laughs> uh, just in case you're listening because they do come in handy. They do pay off, music. yes. And you said you started writing your first songs at the age of 16. It's an interesting story you were telling me how you got 
into you got to open the Nashville Songwriter Series for Grammy winner Shenandoah. And right. How how did that come about? Well, let's see. I was actually on the bus my eleventh grade year, and I hadn't really told many people about writing music and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, I snuck up to the front of the bus and let my English teacher hear one of my songs. Mm -hmm. um, and she actually had a connection to a guy named Byron Hill. Mm -hmm. And Byron Hill wrote a lot of Alabama songs and he wrote George Strait's first number one hit. Mm -hmm. And he's really, he really got me that connection at the Nashville Songwriter Series. Wow. And it was a really great experience and let me record in Nashville and he's been a really big help. Well, I'm sure he heard the talent because when I heard you, I was, uh -huh. I was completely blown away. You were a natural songwriter as well as performer and Thank you. instrumentalist. I mean, it's, you, you're the whole package and I'm so glad to have you here. And you're, you're playing at a couple of places around, uh, Gadsden, the Gridiron, and Gadsden and Center, <laughs> Old Mexico, and the Fish Market. Are the, you there pretty regularly? Right, very regularly. Usually, I'm at one of those places every weekend. Every week, or okay. maybe two. Well, know, good. Fridays and Saturdays. Right, and they if you have a a show coming up, they can check out Ad Howard on Facebook. Yes, just opened it up about a month ago because of this. Mm -hmm. um, but it'll keep you up to date on my dates and stuff like that and give you some media from today and stuff right. like that. Right, and that's cool such stuff. a great way to, to get word about shows and, and when you're going right. to be on Kelly's Acoustic Crossroads and things like that. We're going to hear some more music from you coming up, and I just can't wait to, to hear more from you. And our guest, A.D. Howard, uh, make sure you check out our Facebook page and our website page, and we'll be right back. And we're back with our guest, A.D. Howard of Glencoe. And, and I'm just, I can't get over the song 1953 that you performed. That's, <laughs> that's such great depth for a 20-year-old to write. That's just, Thank you. how did you come up with, with those lyrics and those I actually, ideas? I was actually sitting at the dinner table with my best friend, and his mom walked in and just actually kind of dropped the line, gave me the idea, mm -hmm. said it would be a really great song to see how things have changed now. Right. It's not really a political song per se, but mm -hmm. it's just how things have changed. It's, it's great. It, it, you're hanging on every word, or I was hanging on every <laughs> word, and it's one of those story songs that you right. love. And it really paints a picture. Did you, you know, grow up going to church and singing in church and playing in church a lot? Yes, that actually helped me help me read chord charts, help me learn a lot on the piano. Mm -hmm. um, as I'm well as having a mama that sings. Exactly. And like I Very said earlier, talented. in the country, we say sang. When you know you're yeah. really, really good, she can sing. She can sing. <laughs> No doubt about it. <laughs> Definitely. Do y'all ever sing at church together? Uh, yes, we do. Right now, I'm helping out at Cross Point Community awesome. Church over on the highway. So. Well, good. So people can come hear you there as well. Definitely, as and that's also on TV as well. So. Well, good. Yeah. Awesome. And you're currently working on. You said you're doing an album completely by yourself. You're doing all the instruments. Right. I'm kind of doing a my version of songs in the key of life. I'm just going <laughs> to all, every instrument. But it's something I've always wanted to do, and mm -hmm. I'm doing it in home, mm -hmm. and uh, all I've got left is to mix it. So, How many songs are going to be on there? It should be 11. 11. I so. know you, you've got over 100 songs in your catalog. That's yes, very impressive for such a young writer. Well, I, thank you. I don't think I even have 100 songs. <laughs> <laughs> but thank I would you. love to hear that. So when you get it done, are you going to release it on iTunes and CD Baby? Right, so yeah. If you'll help me out there, I definitely will figure <laughs> definitely. out how to do that. I definitely will help you out with that. And you, but subscribe to the Facebook so you can keep you up can with it. You can hear it all yeah. on Facebook. Exactly yeah. right. And it, it, you're also, I, I have to mention this, you were valedictorian of, of your class, and you are also in, in the uh, UAB's undergraduate, see, I can't even pronounce it, <laughs> and you're undergraduate Help me out here. Undergraduate neuroscience program Thank you. You at know, UAB. <laughs> <laughs> so if the music thing doesn't work out, you've got a good career lined up for you. Right, definitely. So. Uh, neuroscience is great, but music is my dream. So you can you definitely know. tell you have a passion for it, and I don't see it not working out for you. And you know, check out Ad Howard on Facebook if you have not already checked it out. Make sure you do, and keep up with him because you're you're definitely going to hear more from this young man. Thank you. And speaking of, right now we're going to hear a song, Run Around. I, mm -hmm. I like this guitar intro to this. And thank you. Eight months playing. <laughs> Are you serious? That's just not even fair. <laughs> but it's awesome. And this is the song Run Around by Ad Howard. I know your game, but your rub out Already got you figured out The one my mama warned me about Your little run around 
out on the playground back in school you always played me like a fool why should i think you're different now you're a little run around so look both ways before you cross she's a runaway train that can't be stopped in a new york minute she's a country mile away from the place that she started out Lord, forgive me if I'm wrong, but she's a ticking time bomb with high heels on. The kind of girl that only gets her way, cause she's hotter than an Alabama summer day. Oh yeah, watch out, she's a little run around. The moment that everything feels right, she'll take everything you've got. Then kiss the next flight out of town She's a little run around Now I'm not saying she can't be tamed But no one plays a losing game She'll chew you up then spit you out She's a little run around So look both ways before you cross She's a runaway train that can't be stopped In a New York minute she's a country mile Away from the place that she started out Lord forgive me if I'm wrong But she's a chicken time bomb with high heels on The kind of girl that only gets her way Cause she's hotter than an Alabama summer day Oh yeah Watch out She's a little run around Say run, 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 run around, run, 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 run around. She's a little run around. I said run, 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 run around, run, 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 run around. She's a little run around. I say run, 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 run around, run, 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 run around. Both ways before you cross She's a runaway train that can't be stopped In a New York minute she's a country mile Away from the place that she started out And Lord forgive me if I'm wrong But she's a ticking time bomb with high heels on The kind of girl that only gets her way Cause she's hotter than an Alabama summer day Oh yeah Watch out She's a little run around Welcome back to Kelly's Acoustic Crossroads. Now it's time for our homegrown clip of the week. Our homegrown clip of the week is where if you like singing in the shower or at home in your bedroom or in the car, don't tape it if you're in the car, but send us a video of it and we will like to feature it on our homegrown video clip of the week. And this week we have Jeremy Jackson of Gadsden. Here's a Thank you. 
And that was our Homegrown Clip of the Week. Thank you, Jeremy Jackson, for sending that in. If you'd like your video featured on the Homegrown Clip of the Week, send it in to kacrossroads.com or find us on Facebook at Kelly's Acoustic Crossroads. Wow, Allendale, thank you so much for joining us today. I love your music. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Well, if I won't cramp your style too much, I'm going to sing your last song with you. Tell us the title again. Better Half. This is A.D. Howard, and if you don't know him yet, you will soon. You'll hear a lot of his music, I'm sure. So. Without you, I'm like a fish out of water, ice cream on a day that couldn't get no hotter. Without your sweet love, I can't survive. We go together like apple pie, and fireworks show on the 4th of July. You're my smile, you're my laugh. So then you're my better half. Whoa, 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 you're my better half. Whoa, 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 you're my better half. It's not a secret anymore. Sure, I've been in love, but I've never been so sure. It's just so obvious to see That I'm the one for you And you're the one for me But like Bonnie and Clyde And Johnny and June But like stars in the sky And the man on the moon You can't have one without the other Can't have me if I haven't got you Cause you're my better half, it's true you. I'm like a fish out of water, ice cream on a day that couldn't get no hotter. Without your sweet love, I can't survive. We go together like apple pie and fireworks show on the 4th of July. You're my smile, you're my laugh. Now then you're my better half. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're my better half. You're my better half Without you I'm incomplete You go back through and dot my eyes and cross my teeth You're the better half of me Me without you is half the man I want to be But like Bonnie and Clyde and Johnny and June we like stars in the sky And the man on the moon You can't have one without the other Can't have me if I haven't got you Cause you're my better half, it's true Without you, I'm like a fish out of water Ice cream on a day that couldn't get no hotter Without your sweet love, I can't survive We go together like apple pie and fire Show on the 4th of July You're my smile, you're my laugh You're my smile, you're my laugh You're my smile, you're my laugh So then you're my better half Whoa, whoa, whoa You're my better half